Is he talking to himself here? Hey, it's the flower girl. I guess I know where she's getting the flowers from. Ah, great. We're back in the slums. Okay, that's a bit of a translation error that should say, you suddenly fell on top of me, not it. Sort of gives the impression that the church fell on top of her. That still should have killed him, but whatever. The reason why there's no trouble growing grass and flowers here is because you have sunlight. You can't grow it anywhere else because there's no sunlight. Oh, this is just too good to resist. And what's so special about it? Preoccupied much? Default name Eris. That's what I'm going with. Who the hell's this guy? He's kind of been a jack of all asses so far, but yeah, whatever. Don't let it get to you. I'm wondering, what the hell is that supposed to mean? What are you talking about? I just want to go talk to this guy. I'll stop worrying about you when you tell me what the hell you're doing here. 
I don't think they've had mass here for quite a while. Okay, that's an unusual request, but, uh, okay. In other words, you're a prostitute. Is that how Cloud remembers things? That is so weird. Ah, oh, jeez. Here we go. What do you mean by sis? Who's this? Who is the sis? All that you care about is the damn flowers. Oh, he's stepping on the flowers. all polite about it. Wow, that was a hell of a jump. Wow, can you do that again? Jeez, you should join the Olympics or something. That one? What is... Jeez, you're just full of weird translation errors, aren't you? What, you can't make a jump like that all of a sudden? Oh, jeez. Call her an ancient. She doesn't look that old to me. Okay, you gotta be quick about these decisions, because if you wait too long, she's gonna have to fight. What you wanna do is go up here and start pushing barrels over. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, she's gonna have to fight. Now, she is not that good of a physical fighter. She doesn't have any materia. Oop, attacked the wrong one. So, this fight is not gonna go quite as smoothly as it would be if we were, say, fighting with Cloud or Tifa or Barrett. But it shouldn't be too hard, it'll just take a little bit longer than usual. Weird sound bugs. I worked with the compiler a lot trying a bunch of different settings to try and get the best output, best sound, best visual, and all that kind of stuff. But there's only so much that you can do with the, the choices that they give you, so... 
there's still going to be some weird little errors like that. She's made it up, so we're okay. Seems like Cloud didn't exactly do a whole lot as her bodyguard to get her out of danger, did he? Where the hell are you going? Yeah, whatever. I guess she'll have to stay behind. Why does the building suddenly look so much smaller? It's a church in the slums, but uh, not much is said about the religion of the people in Final Fantasy VII. I mean, eventually we'll come across to a more uh, like spiritual kind of people further along in the game, but in like Midgar and stuff, no mention is made other than that church. Jeez, take forever much? So mean to everybody. I imagine that's common knowledge. people's homes were hopping across. Don't worry, he's never going to come. Let's go take a look at uh, Harris's stats. Now, even though she is half the level that Cloud is at, you still get an idea of what kind of stats she has by looking at the stat screen. You're going to notice that her attack is going to be dismally small for the entire game. Her attack percentage, which is like 
how often she's going to hit and all that is really high, but her ability to make physical attacks is not. But you look at her magic, even though she's only five, she's five levels below Cloud, she's only ten points short in terms of magic skill. That's going to be something that's going to follow her through the whole game. She's going to have a high magic stat and be able to do a whole lot of magic damage. A lot more than the other characters. But you don't want to really make her do physical attacks. Which is also why you notice that she is in the back row by default. Even though she doesn't have a long range weapon, you don't need long you don't need to be close up to use magic and you're not supposed to really use Harris with uh, physical attacks. You know I really shouldn't do this because it'll lower Cloud's HP and all, and he's the power of the group right now. I'm gonna put this on him so it gains some AP, so we won't be left behind. And despite the fact that we just fled from Reno in this direction, if you were to head back to the church, you'll notice that he's not here anymore. Why is it up the cloud, I wonder? Something else again shows kind of interesting. You head over here, and this is the exit to Midgar. But we can't get out this door over here. I wonder why that says 7, considering we're in Sector 5. Okay, our first battle with the pair of them. What is that creepy little thing wandering around there? Like I had mentioned before, pretty much any character is capable of fulfilling any task, except for Eris, who should really only have her do magic and summoning kind of stuff. That's why, even though Cloud is really supposed to be like a physical attack guy, he's really good for pretty much anything. And even a guy like Barrett, whose physical attacks are his uh, strongest point, his magic is the weakest point, you can still have him doing a lot of casting. Okay, this little hole in the wall here leads to Sector 6, but we're not going to be able to go there yet. Let's go up to this town here. I'm not sure if this town has a name. I think it's just referred to Sector 5. Remember Jesse was talking about how the towns no longer had names, they are just referred to by numbers? But there are a couple of towns that do have names in Midgar, though. This guy are sick. There's more than one, I guess. Jeez, Harris has so many translation errors, it's not even funny anymore. Well, it is kind of funny. What the hell do you expect him to do? What does he have trophies for? Hmm, he's acting kind of weird and he has a tattoo that says number two on it. Wonder if that's going to come back and bite us later. Apparently he watches television though.
Okay, you have materia. You don't have any scrap metal, though. Hmm. I think you lied to me, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna buy some materia. I don't think I'm gonna make you watch that, though. So, in other words, you sell things. Tent is something that you're eventually going to want to buy a lot of. They're too expensive to use, though, now. What it does is, if you're at a save point, you use it, and it restores all of your HP and your MP up. It's a really cool thing. Same kind of thing was used in Xenogears, but um, can't buy them right now. You don't have that kind of cash. about that. for such a shitty house. Okay, what that kid was talking about was this drawer over here. You can open up any of these things and get the uh, five gill that's hidden inside of here. But I'm not going to do that because if you don't take it and much later on in the game if you come back here you get a much better prize. Five gill is really nothing. Is there anything I missed? I don't think there's anything up here. Okay, this is what drove me insane. Back when I first played the game, I ran around this town over and over again, around the circles, pressing up against the walls or looking around what I was trying to find my way out of here move on to Eris' house. Couldn't find it. I didn't realize that if you press the select key, or the select button, you'd be able to highlight every exit with those little red things there. I didn't realize that at the time, and I didn't realize that this was where you had to go. So I acted like an idiot and ran around in a circle a bunch of times. 